I saw the mountains and I said, this is the most beautiful place I've ever seen. You talk about wonderful. I mean, look at the wonderful view, even though it's a little mist out there. They are unlike any other mountains that you're going to find around in New England. They are the White Mountains of New Hampshire. Stunning in every season, but never more accessible in more different ways than in summer. But one mountain stands literally above all the others in New Hampshire. And at 6,288 feet, Mount Washington stands above all the others in New England as well. Of course, it's certainly more comfortable standing here on the summit at this time of year. In winter, for instance, not so much. The roof of New England, as it's known, has well earned its reputation as having some of the worst weather in the world. A typical February day. It could be five degrees out. The wind could be blowing over 100 miles per hour. Wind chills could be deep into the 70s or 80s below zero. But not on this day. It's summer. It's a balmy nearly 60 degrees. Visibility is good. And most amazing of all, there's nearly no wind up here, all of which makes the views spectacular in all directions, from far off looking west to the neighboring peaks of the presidentials, some still sporting wisps of winter snow here and there. We're very fortunate to have visitors from all over the world. And people come up the train, the cog railway, they come up the auto road, they hike their way up, and the destination is Mount Washington Summit. My dad went to work here right after high school during the Depression. It may not be much to look at on the outside, gas pumps, plastic lettering, indifferent window displays, and a community bulletin board long past any point of control. Dan and Witz presents a somewhat shambolic face to the world. Inside, however, is something else entirely, that complex, efficient, highly evolved organism known as the classic country store. Norwich insiders know that the real action starts where the market ends. And until you've passed through the unmarked door that lies behind the meat counter, you really haven't had the true Dan and Witz experience. Welcome to the ever-ready battery of general stores. It just keeps going and going. How many items do you have in this store? Rough guesstimate. Uh, I, I, my guess is 300 to 500,000 different items, if you were to count them all. Stove pipes and chicken feed, washboards and pickling crocks, the whole shebang heated by vast piles of cordwood stored in the basement which reminds Jack Frazier of the time an eager new insurance adjuster marched into Dan and Witz for an inspection and left with a quick lesson in small town politics. He said that if we didn't move the wood outside, he would get the fire chief here to discuss with me how dangerous that was. And I said, well, I am the fire chief, so uh, I understand how dangerous it is, but we're being very careful. Ready for an island vacation. It's a short trip, just an hour and a half drive from Boston to Point Judith, Rhode Island, then a quick ferry ride. But Block Island feels like a world away. Fields of daisies dance in the wind. Beach roses teeter on the edge of the bluff. Up north, birds of different beaks land on beaches of stone and sand. Block Island features 17 miles of pristine beaches protected by historic lighthouses, beautiful bluffs, rolling roads, and winding paths. To get around, most people prefer two wheels over four. Mopeds are popular, but residents like quiet bicycles better suited for the simple island lifestyle. Bike businesses line the main road. We decided to rent from a shop on one of the back roads. The island's perfect for bicycling. The roads curve and wind <laughs> and um, the hills are gentle. The traffic is slow at only 25 miles an hour. So it's a great way to see the island and just take in the fresh air and the beautiful sights. Time to check it out. I got my bike, I got my helmet, I got my basket. I'm ready to see Block Island. 
You can't help but stop and take it in. Gerard Bluen couldn't help but stop and put paint to canvas. It's the side of the road, the light, the, the colors of the water and the greens, and you've got some purples in the bottoms of the bushes. It just exudes, it's just saturated with summertime. 11 years ago, this Holden, Massachusetts resident left his corporate job to paint full time. Block Island is his favorite muse. Block Island has been great. I look at that painting and it just takes me away to Block Island. And that's, I think, if you can do that uh, for somebody, you've done a job.